So I learned something the other day from uh, Nathan. He has a YouTube channel out of the woods. He's been running a wood miser for a long time. But you use uh, ATF fluid, keep these rails lubricated up and other parts of the mill. And I knew that you use the ATF fluid. And I'm thinking, you know, just pour some on or whatever. Just use a spray bottle. Something that simple, you know, I didn't even think about until I saw him doing it. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. This evening I hope to saw a little bit of white oak here on the Wood Miser LX150. I got home from work about a half hour ago, something like that, and I checked the radar before I came down because uh, we have a lot of those pop-up storms in the area, but everything looked like it was east of here and I was in the clear. Came down, got everything all set up, uncovered, ready to go, and it poured down the rain for about 10 or 15 minutes. So I just went up to Haas, had a bite to eat, came back down and so far so good it looks as though i'll be good for at least a couple hours now we're going to get some rain later tonight and tomorrow but this weekend it looks fantastic like low to mid 70s you know clear should be a really good weekend to get a bunch of stuff done but anyway this evening i have a white oak log here on the sawmill let me show you now this isn't a real big log this is about 15 16 inches in diameter something like that eight feet six inches long and just looking at it right here doesn't look so great all the barks off it obviously this is real punky here looks pretty rough right but if you look at the end of it, it looks pretty darn nice now by the way i did seal this end here with anchor seal both ends you can see all around here it's kind of real punky but there's some real good wood here in the center we won't know what it looks like till we open it up uh, but I'm kind of looking forward to this. Uh, this log here and probably one more I hope to use for flooring for the tower blind. Which, uh, by the way, I'm taking Friday off of work. And if the weather's good, we're going to be working on that. I'm not going to make tongue and groove flooring or anything like that. This wood's still wet. I mean, this has been dead for years. But maybe later on I'll get the moisture meter and see just where it's at. But it's no, you know, by no means is this dry. And uh, like I said, it's going to be for a hunting blind, kind of like a little cabin we're building in the woods just for flooring. So uh, it should work out fine for that. We'll see. So this log I have on the mill right now, it's number, let me think. Yeah, this is the third log that I've sawn in my life. So I'm by no means an expert and I have a lot to learn. However, I have learned one thing so far. And that is, you don't really know what you're going to get till you open it up. Kind of like getting a Christmas present from your grandma, I guess you could say. You know, you're just not going to know till you open it up and see what it is.
and see what it looks like. It's a pretty nice white oak. So I was telling them at the uh, beginning of this video, that log was ugly looking, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All punky on the outside, yeah. it's been dead for years. What I need to do when I take this up and sticker it, I'm curious, I'll put the uh, moisture meter on it and see just how dry it is. Cause this thing's probably been dead for, I don't know, 10 years, but I guarantee it's still wet inside. Oh yeah, it is. Boy, that is pretty. Now what I did, I sawed right through the center of that tree. So I have some quarter sawn down in this pile, but I'll have to cut that pith out of the center. So we'll end up with like just oh, some right. four inch wide boards or yeah. something quarter sawn. That one wasn't a real big log. But like I said, we're learning. That's a lot of work there pulling those boards off there, isn't it? The awkwardness of the length of it, yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of uh, rewarding though, you know what I mean? You take those old nasty looking logs and put them on there. And well, this just these little, these aren't even like splinters. These are real soft. You yeah. Can, you can feel that. You can even feel this one. It feels wet, but. Piper is not a fan of power equipment in general. No. No. She's all nervous. Piper, yeah. She's against um, the renewable resource. <laughs> center or plus it's starting to storm oh or, yeah yeah she doesn't like that at all these are days where she's just like mom i wish you were home sick in bed <laughs> hunter wants to come oh does he yeah you can come down you can come down all right so we got at least 60 board feet out of that white oak log and it's actually pretty nice Hopefully I can use it for flooring for the tower blind. Anyway, here come the rain. I gotta cover up the mill and I call it a night. I can't wait to get this thing in a building. Won't be long. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. <laughs>